So, I just recorded about half an episode before catching myself realizing that my microphone and audio program weren't actually recording each other. Fantastic. Good thing it wasn't an entire episode, so let's run through what I did. Well, underneath here, all of the platforms now have their own respective circle things. Um, these look good, in my opinion. Uh, I like them. They make it look like they're sort of floating above this and against the ground, sort of. Uh, give me your feedback and opinions on them. They are always open to be changed, just like nearly anything else that I build. Um, but I think they look good. I think they look nice. Off camera, I also changed the mob spawner design a little bit. I just made it fit better with the circle. I added some dark glass from Extra Utilities 2 up on the top and the sides to make it so you can see the mob spawn. Uh, here you just sort of swing at them. That is the chest filled with the soul shards. In here I added an enchanting area with an enchantment table and an anvil just for ease of access. I also went spelunking and stuff. And since I already recorded about half an episode, I, I really really missed a lot and that sort of really really sucks because I did a lot so what did I do well I got a whole bunch of stuff and that bunch of stuff is going to be t helpful towards this episode today and there was a couple ones that I don't know what to do so tell me what the acceleration wand does the wand the acceleration wand it doesn't actually work for me I right click a block like a plant and it doesn't t uh, speed up its tick time like it says it does so you know, if you know how that works, tell me, because normal blocks, I don't really know. They, you can't really affect a normal block like a quartz block with tick speed. So, let's, uh, let's just get a little bit of sweet sleep quickly, and then we will get into the meat and potatoes of this episode. Sorry if I was talking about quickly, I just, I already went through all of this, and... It was quite a bit of content, and, and I just, it was sad. Alright, so today's meat and potatoes is the RF Tools Dimensions. Finally, I just, uh, not finally, but I want to go there. I want to see, I want to mess around, I want to have some fun. And while exploring, I got some dimlet packages, uh, dimlet parcels, sorry, uh, that I will open in a second. So, I want to place a chunk loader, like, definitely next to where these are. And I almost pressed F11 again, which would have stopped my recording again, which would have been really, really bad. All right. So what we need to do is set up the dialing device, matter receiver, and one of the, and one of the matter transmitters on a good spot. So we need the dialing device, the, what did it say? I, I'm reading, I'm reading things. Uh, so, what we have is the Dimension Inscriber, the Dimension Builder, the Destination Analyzer, the Matter Booster, two mad Matter Transmitters, a Machine Frame, because uh, I think that was an extra one that I accidentally made, some Matter Receivers, and some Dimlet Parcels. So, what we need to do is set up the Dialing Device and the Matter tr uh, Receiver and a Matter Transmitter on a good spot. So, Matter Transmitter, Matter Receiver, right? Yes? Okay. So, maybe just here and here both on the left and right of it that would be good yes okay so then uh set up the matter transmitter on a temporary spot where it can get power give it a good name matter transmitter where it needs power okay so just grab this grab these put that there uh please tell me you're getting power you are fantastic i put a elite rf storage over here just to sort of chill i will also add a couple solar panels over here so i am sure it has power and it is working perfectly fine because i do not want to get trapped inside of a dimension so we have the dialing device that is full this is almost full now that is full and this is getting full all right so now we need to give it a name so let's go base right and then it stays okay and then the this one uh, let's give it uh, receiver let's just call it receiver receiver Re I almost spelled that wrong receiver all right now we need to get the other matter transmitter on a spot where it can receive power let's just put it there and uh, let's just name it extra trans yeah let's just name it extra trans all right, now we need to dial it to the one in the base, which, hmm, maybe, boop, boop, if we go extra trans to the receiver and then dial it, yes, dial, okay. Next, when it's filled, we just need to put it back, or pick it up, so boop, no, okay, do we have a build craft wrench anywhere? Let's go build craft. We need a build craft. Okay, let's just search wrench. Wrench. We need a build craft wrench, which is 
Simple, very, very simple. I think we already have one, actually. I think I made one a little bit ago. Wrench. We do. Fantastic. Okay, so now we just need to pick up the matter receiver again, like this. Boop. There we go. And then it should keep all of its relevant information. Then we need to place down the dimension inscriber, which should not be facing that way. It's okay. We're, we're changing the direction. Let's uh, change them all to this way. We're going this way. All right. So then we need to put a... Do, do, do. We need to put a empty dimension tab in it, which is redstone and paper. We have plenty of both of those. Uh, I think we're going to start with a random one and then move on to a sort of built one if we get any good ones out of these dim uh, dimlet parcels. So let's get some paper. Boop, 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 boop. And then some redstone. Doop, 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 doop. And then there we go. So then we need to put it into the dimension inscriber, I believe. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yes, that is what it's called. So put it in. And then uh, we don't have any dimlets right now. So we will just store it. And so we get our own. Creation cost is 1000 RF. And the maintenance cost is 10. So it's probably some sort of just normal, normal, boring dimension. That is no problem because that is... Something that's uh, that's okay. That is perfectly fine by me. And now let me just double check. Yes, I had I had a third uh, elite solar panel and stuff sort of chilling here just for extra energy. I don't want to leave these behind because those will be our means of getting actually out of there. Uh, just in case something goes wrong in here, like this one sort of starts dying, which we should actually check on that. Uh, yeah, let's grab another solar panel from over here. I, I wouldn't mind borrowing a solar panel or two from here. They don't exactly need them very much. Actually, can I build craft wrench these? No, of course not. Nope, oh, that just fell through, I think. Maybe? I don't think it did, actually, because I have three. All right, so let's just put these on here and here. Like this. And boop. Boop. And then... Cho change these to extracting just so the actual thing is getting energy along with the other ones that's what i missed with the machine frame over here nope wait nope also nope no where to go hold on dimension builder nope i had it in my inventory i just missed it okay dimension builder place that here like this we will throw in the dimension it is building it all nice and good that's actually really quick huh all right so now this is getting rf i will be right back when this is filled with rf just so we're safe okay so we're not going to be in there for that long and i'll probably end up dismantling this world when we get back in i just want to go and see so what i believe we need to do now is put the base to there and then dial it and then that is okay, I hope. Uh, let's just hope and pray. Ooh, jeez, oh, oh, I thought that was void. Oh boy, that would have scared me. So, there's a entire part of the world made of these translucent blue blocks. We have fire resistance, mining fatigue, and slowness. I will assume those, yeah, those get uh, put back onto them. That is the matter receiver. We are not leaving yet. It is all floating islands and sand. I really want to be careful. I do not want to hit something and start uh, starting a mass collision. So this is pretty unstable. It's uh, It's not a proper world. It's not very good. It's made of glass mainly. But if we ever needed these dark blue ones, I'll tell you where you go. Here. Yeah, so this world isn't really the best. We're not going to stay here. I'm probably just going to go back up right now and dismantle it. Just because... Definitely not worth being here. Definitely not worth it. So, poop. Yeah, teleport me away from that creeper. Thank you very much. Alright, we're back. Hello. Yes, everything is fine, everything is good. Now I want to see what this matter booster does. Let's just place it here. I don't know what it does. And I don't know if it needs power. Let's check if it needs power. 
You do not need power. I do not know what you do. Uh, let's check the manual then. Let's see if we can see what a matter booster does. Hmm. Major failure, getting in there, builder, inscriber, dimlets, da -da 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 -da, machine infuser. Okay, well, I'm not going to dilly on with that. I want to take you, put you in there, put you in here, and just extract. I want you to just not be in dimension. All right, so let's open these dimlet parcels. Let's get some more room in our inventory and see what we get. So hopefully we're getting some good stuff. A dimlet liquid type controller, a controller circuit two, a circuit one, a controller type. I thought these were supposed to be for things that uh, are in the dimension. Dimlet mod type, a mob type controller, dimlet control circuit rarity zero, a dimlet controller digit name, a basic memory, a, dim, a dimlet part, and one more of these. So are these actual parts? So I'm feeling like the dimlet inscriber. Maybe if we put one in, right? No, if we move you and maybe put one in, can you just throw one in there and it does stuff? No, okay. Hmm. So can you put them in here? No, you can't even put them in there. That is weird. What are these for? Let me do some research. Let me find out what these are for and I'll be right back. So I'm just taking a look through the Dimlet workbench and it definitely seems like we do not have much of anything available for just getting uh, actual things. We don't have enough uh, power in these, like this needs to be a 3, this needs to be the, the energy, Dimlet needs to be a 3. So yeah, I don't think we have enough to do any of these. Like we have some for the biome ones. But for the good stuff, that's going to be a lot later. We're going to need to find a lot more stuff. So what I'm thinking now is we just take a little bit of jolly old time and just have some fun. Uh, I'm going to just make a lot of random worlds and just sort of go exploring quickly. See what they're like. That had nothing in it and that went instantly. That worries me. Only slightly though. Right, so that there, this there you go to there dial and let's go check it hopefully nothing bad wait we have the okay we have the stuff we have the good stuff so what i'm just thinking is just have some exploration same world again exact same world wait where's where's our transmitter from last time i mean i'm like i guess i can't complain because I don't know, but where is it from last time? This is, I mean, okay, we'll just place it down and leave, but still, where, oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Please put energy into it by being next to it. Yes. Okay, let's leave, please. Thank you. Oh, I was like, I put away the energy things. I put away the energy pipes and I thought we were pretty much boned there to be honest I thought we were really really out of luck all right so let's just make another one let's just have two going yeah put this in an empty dimension scriber where you can construct a yeah dimension using dimlets we don't have any dimlets but it's, it's okay it's okay uh, let's no okay who I was like I don't want to go there please thank you very much uh, let's interrupt that and stop it. Let's take you out of there. I want to go to a different one. I want to go to a different land. Please. Please, sir. Let me... They're the same one. They're the same one again. I want to go to a different one. Okay, let's extract both of them, right? We're supposed to extract them. Extract. And then extract. Right, put an empty dimension tab in a dimension subscriber where you can connect a dimension using dimlets. Right? Inscriber. Inscriber. Put it in. Store. This one is the... It just keeps making the same one! It keeps making the same one! So what is going on? Why does it keep making the same one? I want to have a different one. I want to go somewhere else. That's all I want to do. Let's try and make a dimlet, actually. 
Let's, I don't want to void one. Let's have just something simple. Something easy. Sky dimlet, no, those all require things. Water dim, liquid dimlet, that'd be all water, that'd be annoying. Terrain, controller, time, digit, 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 digit. Water, or weather, feature, feature, feature? Let's, uh, redstone string, three paper. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go craft that. That should be easy. Uh, let's hope we have some sugar cane going on in here. No, but we have just sugar. Okay, be right back, going to grab some sugar cane. Alright, so I just made a few dimlets just to try it out. I got the feature dimlet, the sky dimlet, and the structure dimlet. So let's see if we can just go and throw these right into dimension. Which we need to grab... Da -da -da -da. You, boink, or boink, 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 store, right, one structure dimlet, one feature dimlet, creation cost, okay, so, hopefully, we get a new world, this will take a minute, I was, I would assume, or maybe we're out of, we're out of power, we need to sleep, okay, one second, alright, so this dimension is finally done building, and now, I want to go explore, uh, and this will be the final bit of exploring, Oops, um, this should be in there. Wait, do, okay, can I just dial it? No, because I, I have to have it somewhere. I'll just put it in there for safekeeping. No, not there. There for safekeeping. Um, wait, was that even the third one? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a structure dimlet and the other dimlets. Uh, so I'm hoping it's good. If it is not, nope. Uh, we have an ender chest here. Uh, and I will store all of my items and then promptly jump off wherever we are just in case if I can't get back. Uh, we can make another transceiver though. So let's get one of those. Uh, simple enough. Yeah, let's grab some iron and some ender pearls. Iron. Ender pearls. And then ender pearl, iron. Okay, I completely forgot how to build that in the span of like three seconds. Boop, boop, boop. Redstone, redstone, iron thing. And then do, 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 do. Plop you uh, here. Let you charge up for a second. Name you backwards so we we know we can use this to go backwards and nothing else is getting charged right now because something is using it all or maybe it's not generating anything yep it's too late at night to generate things okay one second okay okay there we go now it should be generating we just need enough to actually leave and that sort of sucks that my elite one is stuck in this dimension that really sucks actually let's just put you in there for now I'm gonna leave you in there Maybe we'll go back to you and pick those up later, but for right now, can't exactly do anything about this. I just need these to charge up enough so I can get a teleport home, and then we'll go in and explore. Hopefully we find some interesting stuff, and actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's clear out our inventory a little bit, just in case. We don't need a lot of this stuff. Let's get a bow. Shovel, just in case we find something interesting. Ender chest, so we can plop our stuff down in case we want to leave. We can use that for power, actually. Yeah, just plop the rest of this in there. Actually, we should have kept the steak. Yeah, okay. So if we need power, we can plop this down on top of it. Uh, this should be done now, though. And uh, we actually did need that wrench. I put it back by accident. Wrench. Uh, we need the build craft one so we can pick it up. And this should be done by now. Yeah, pretty much done. Pick you up. And let's go see what this world has. And holding my breath. This is taking an awfully long time to load. Okay, it's been about five minutes on just downloading terrain. Either the world's extremely broken, or it's just having some troubles loading, and I don't know what to do. I feel like if I close my game, I could potentially corrupt a lot of stuff. So... Ah, uh, I guess I'll wait another couple minutes and see where this takes me. 
All right, so the world had a small rollback, uh, just according, because I spawned back in over here instead of over there. The world had a small rollback, but that shouldn't be a problem. I got a couple more dimlets that I just made there quickly, but I want to try again. I want to try and see if we can get into that dimension again. I want to see what is there, because that is interesting that I crashed my game. If I cannot get into there, then I will simply just... I don't know, come back there and end the episode. But if I can get in here, I'm going to, I don't know, say some things. And then and then end the episode, because we're already running at like 25 minutes. So let's just hope we actually can get in. Hopes and prayers and holding my breath again. Okay, final chance. I'm going to put a feature, a structure, a terrain, and a material dimlet in. There are dangling modifiers in this descriptor. Dangling? Material dimlet. Okay. Warning, there are dangling modifiers in this descriptor. Put these dimlets before the thing you want to change. Right? No? Dimlet stone. This is an modifier. This is modifier for terrain tendrils, canyons, orbs, liquid orbs, or ore gen. Put these dimlets before the thing you want. I hit my microphone, you probably heard that. Try and cut that out. Okay, well, we have a structure, a terrain, and a feature one. That's good enough. As long as there's actual terrain, actual things that can be held and, and be counted for, we should be set. It should not be a big problem because there will actually be terrain. Maybe it was having a uh, hard time just a second ago because... It was trying to load a void world uh, made of completely of structures. That might have been the problem. It could have been trying to load a void world uh, because there was no terrain. It could have been trying to vo uh, load a void world filled with completely structures, and that could be very taxing because of all the spawners, the traps, the rooms, uh, depending on what sort of structures spawn in the world because there might be more than the dungeons. Um, from roguelike and those have multiple floors and are hundreds and hundreds of blocks so it was probably having just a really hard time so one more try if it does not work it will be the dimension that never was and i will come back here and end it all right so that world was a complete bust i went in started taking damage and just noped out of there so that world that world we worked so hard on so far so long so hard was was just nothing because it broke so, you know what? This world, this world over here in the machine, this one right here, uh, this one, nope, this, this machine, th one of these machines, oh, it's in my inventory already, this machine right here, Dimension 4, the one with the structures and such, it was, it was a damaged world, couldn't use it, it was collapsing, and it was bad, so you know what? It was the world... That we, we never could use. And that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me mess around with RF tools. I'm sorry if it seemed like I was a mess. I've really never played with RF tools. It was sort of confusing to get into it. But you know, that's sort of the point. Is some learning experience together. And hopefully it's still coherent. Because, yeah, I'm going to just undial you real quick. Uh, just because you scare me. So yeah, you're... you're okay. Um, but that's that. This is this. That's you and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video remember stay fancy and peace out Bye bye